nais ko maging bahagi ng isang adhikain at makiisa sa gawaing makajos at masaya paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay kaisa ng Birheng Maria Our Lady of Sorrows Tara na Viva Pagpapala mong lubos Sa krus ni Kristo Jesus Na iyong anak kami tinubos Sa patubay ng Espiritu Banal sa aming buhay At kain ng Maria Ang bagong Eva na mapagkalinga Viva ba? Let us pray the angels. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, <laughs> pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your, your grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Altogether, glory, glory be, be to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the and Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, As it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, world, world without end. end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us include in our prayers the intentions of Dominador Guzman Sr., Nancy Tan and family, Peruel de la Peña, Santo Sildes, Alegre families, Marisa Boitis, Feli Kiambao and Kiambao Security, Rosita Dizon, Melba Marbella, Father Resti de la Peña, SSP, Father Ramon Manalo, SSP, Father Arthur Palisada, SSP, Patrice Ancese, Letlet Salcedo, SuperServe Corporation, Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo Kodaira, Louis and Lourdes Clem, Attorney Evangeline Liamas and Family, Magdalena Clava Evaldes, Princess Evaldes Chua, Chua Family, Paz and Family, Jello and Elaine, Paolo, Marlo, Orlando, Roland and Rosalia Mariano and Kids. Ray Angeline Mariano, Alexander Arroyo, Ngo Ang Si, Willie and Geraldine Ozier and family, Jing Flora, Jose Joe Rose Portfolio, Selina Katrina Soko, Melinda Jong, Salve Ann Marie Escaño, Briggs Joseph Escaño, Briggs and Joan Escaño, Benjamin Laza, All Unborn Children, all the sick, all healthcare workers, all persecuted Christians. And birthday thanksgiving of James Guerrero and Michael Guerrero. For the eternal repose for the soul of the following, Carmelita Guzman, Lutgarda and Erlinda, Angelica and Estelita, Alfonso and Blandina, Gregorio, Roll Jr. and Corazon, Medina Tapang, Ricardo Jr., Ricardo Sr., Rosalina Marquez, Feliciano Marquez Sr., Jose Chan, Choi Oksu, Father Manny Ismael, Hui Sao Ming, Justine Daniel Bataclan, Carlos Quiambao, Conrada Taylan, Victor Serrano, Ramiel Conel, Father Joseph Butlig, SCJ, Artemia Salamat, Marcelita Salamat, Amado Sarmiento Sr., Father Joven Lagdaman, SSP. Gilberto Liamas, Sr. Milagros Liamas. Lourdes Cruz, Bartola Liamas. Celia Santos, Conrad and Heling Orofino. Luningning Canseco, Rosemary Villegas. Anthony Dullier, Marimi Chicoyuda. Merilita Laguda, Thelma Dizon, Rosby Martinez, Edna Flora and Winston Flora. Father Jesus Jose Bustillo, Sabina Kaab, Merardo Baaco, Concepcion Bacosa, Hervasio Baaco, Julian Kaab, Andalia Pacho, Sister Fe Enano DC, Sister Teresa Evasco DC, Hector Laguda, John Leopold Olaes Victoria, Marlu Regalado, Ligia Llorente Baluyot, Bienvenido Baluyot, 
Yonida de la Paz, Natalia Baluyot, Armando Llorente, Arturo de la Paz, Tennyson Alvin Chanong, Juana Fontanilla Chua, Diong B. Chu, Diong Lau C., Chang Kahi, Kim Kong, Rodney Colin Manuel, Lazaro Morales Jr., Jovito Aban, Anita Aban, Grace Aban, Marianette Aban Bangkaya, Generosa Ramos, Bienvenido Laza. Soul of all unborn children, for the lost, forgotten, and abandoned souls in purgatory, all who died of COVID-19, all who died from calamities, all who died from tragedies, and all souls in purgatory. Magandang umaga po mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Ialay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, Pasay City, ang Santa Misa para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, devote at benefactors ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Ang Misa ay aalay ng mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa oras na ito, ang Mass Presider ay si Reverend Father Resti de la Peña, SSP. Tayo po ay makisa at ibigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa banal na Eucharistia. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. 
and with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Today, October 19, the community of the Society of St. Paul and of all the Paulines around the world celebrates uh, the memorial of Blessed Timothy Jacardo, our first uh, Pauline priest and our first uh, beatified member of the congregation. And in a special way, in this Mass, we pray for all the intentions of the Society of St. Paul and of all Paulines in the world and all those especially assigned in mission areas. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, words in what I have done and in, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift, blessed Timothy Jacardo, preserve in imitating Christ, poor and lowly, grant us through his intercession that faithfully walking in our own vocation, we may reach the perfection you have set before us in your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, though testified to by the law and the prophets, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction all have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. They are justified freely by His grace through the redemption in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as an expiation through faith by His blood to prove His righteousness because of the forgiveness of sins previously committed through the forbearance of God to prove his righteousness in the present time that he might be righteous and justify the one who has faith in Jesus. What occasion is there then for boasting? It is ruled out. On what principle? That of works. No, rather on the principle of faith. For we consider that a person is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Does God belong to Jews alone? Does he not belong to Gentiles too? Yes, also to Gentiles, for God is one and will justify the circumcised on the basis of faith and the uncircumcised through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revered. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. 
I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord more than sentinels wait for the dawn. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law! You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and the Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po muli, mga kapatid. Ngayong October 19 po, tulad ng binanggit ko kanina sa pagsisimula ng Misa, kami ang mga nabibilang sa Society of St. Paul at sa buong Pauline family, ay nagdiriwang ng uh, memorial ng kauna-unahan naming uh, blessed, no? si Blessed Timothy Jacardo. Sa isang note na nakuha ko, nais <laughs> uh, nice kong ibahagi sa inyo ang ilang malagang bagay tungkol kay Blessed Timothy Jacardo. Blessed Timothy Jacardo was the first to be ordained priest in the Society of St. Paul. So siya po ang aming panganay sa mga pari. The first vicar general of our congregation and the first blessed in our congregation. He was also the first ever priest of the Catholic Church to be ordained specifically for the ministry of the media. The whole life of Blessed Jacardo was one of humble service, suffering, and sacrifice. He was noted for his absolute obedience to the Blessed Founder, James Alberione, the spirit of deep poverty, deep humility, and selfless charity. He welcomed all and was ever joyful in service. Our Blessed Founder, says of him, Blessed Timothy represented the Lord well at the altar, in the confessional, in the pulpit, in conversation, in the classroom, in recreation, in all offices he held, and in his private life. He was another Christ. His life was a continuous daily exercise of self-discipline. He knew how to speak with God. He was a master of apostolate, was light and soul in the evangelical sense. Certainly, I trusted 
Him more than myself. And so for us Paulines, especially for us in the Society of St. Paul, we look up to Blessed Timothy Jacardo as one who really lived out his religious calling as a Pauline, being faithful to our Blessed Founder, James Alberione. Ang kwento nga eh, talagang naghirap raw si Blessed Jacardo following all the instructions of our Founder kung kaya nauna pa siyang naging blessed kaysa sa aming founder. But it was really a life that was filled with holiness that truly we look up to Blessed Timothy. He is indeed one who, through his life and dedication, his faithfulness embodies the Pauline way of living fruitfully and dedicatedly our calling in the religious life. Malaga ang alaala ng mga tao, lalo ng mga mabubuti at mga banal na tao. Ang mga taong tinitingala kung kaya ginagawa natin sila ng mga bagay-bagay na nagpapaalala sa kanilang kabutihan at pagiging isang uh, Uh, example no? para sa lahat at tulara ng kanilang mabuting gawain at pamumuhay. Ganyang kalaga ang mga banal sa ating simbahan. Pero hindi naman kailan lagi na sa simbahan. Kahit sa karaniwang pamumuhay, kahit sa pagiging isang karaniwang mamamayan, meron tayong mga tinitingalang mga tao kung iugnay natin sa ating ibanghelyo sa araw na ito, na kung saan binab, bini, binabanggit ng ating Panginoon, patungkol sa mga memorials, mga dambana, na itinatayo sa kanyang panahon ng mga pinuno ng kanyang bayang Israel. Pinapaalalahan niya ang mga kumakalaban sa kanya na ang mga ninuno nila na silang nagtaguyod at nagtayo ng mga dambanang ito ay sila ring mga pumatay sa mga taong ito, sa mga propetang ito, sa mga banal na ito na isinugo ng Diyos. The irony of it all. Kaya nga, sa sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, bilang babala sa mga religious leaders, na tumutuligsa sa kanya, pinaaalalahanan niya ng kabiguan at kamalian, pagkakamali ng mga ninuno nila ay tila nagpapatuloy pa rin sa kanilang pamumuhay, sa kanilang mga paniniwala. Ang babalang ito ay hindi lang nanggagaling sa mga salita ng Panginoon kundi ultimo ang mga itinayo nilang dambana, ang mga memorials na yan, ay paalala sa kanila ng kanilang kabiguan. Alam niyo, kapag uh, naiisip ko ito, <coughs> kapag napagninilayan ko minsan, ang mga dambana, mga monumento na meron tayo sa ating panahon, totoo, binibigyan tayo ng pinapaalalahanan tayo tungkol sa kabutihan, kabayanihan, kagalingan ng mga taong tinitingala natin sa kasaysayan. Kaya nga meron tayong mga monuments. No? Dito sa Manila, of course, nandiyan ang monumento ni Rizal. Nandiyan ang mga monumento ng mga bayani natin. Pero may mga bagong mga monumento rin na itinatayo bilang paalala sa mga sa kasaysayan natin na no? sa makabagong panahon. Mga monumento ang itinatayo bilang pagpapaalala sa atin na noong una may mga taong tumayo bilang mga bayani 
bagamat mga karaniwang tao. May mga taong nanindigan sa kapayapaan, sa katarungan, kaya may mga dambanang itinatayo para sa kanila. May mga monuments rin na itinatayo para sa kanila. Pero gayon pa man, ipinapaalala rin ang mga dambanang ito, ang kabiguan ng marami. Alam niyo, sa Eastern Europe, kahit sa Europe ngayon, particularly sa Eastern Europe, dahil sa kaguluan na gaganap sa pagitan ng mga ng mga former Soviet states at ng ngayon ay Russia. No? Ang mga malalaking monumento, mga malalaking dambana na itinayo nila recalling the sacrifice and heroism ng mga sundalo nila, ng mga nagpakabayani para sa kanilang ideology. No? Ngayon ho ay isa-isa nang tinitibag, ginigiba. <laughs> Kasi para sa iba, ang mga monumento ito ay, monumentong iyon ay paalala ng kanilang pagkaalipin sa isang ideology. Pagkaalipin sa mga maling turo, maling paniniwala. Mga paalala ng gaano sila katinding naghirap sa kamay ng mga mananakop pero para sa iba, sabi nila, hindi naman para yan sa mga nanakop sa atin, kundi sa kabayanihan rin ng ilan, ilan nating kababayan na lumaban at nagtanggol para sa bayan. Pero para sa iba, hindi. Masaklap ang alaala ng mga monumentong yan, kaya dapat lang yan gibain. Dapat yan sirain. Pero sa iba, hindi, tago na lang natin sa museo. Sayang naman. May historical value. Anyway, kung ano man ang tingin ng uh, maraming tao, ng mga nakararami o ng iilan lamang, ang mga monumento ay paalala talaga. Hindi lang ng mga magagandang bagay, kundi ng mga masasaklap na bagay. Sa ating pananampalataya, totoo, may mga simbolo, may mga palatandaan na meron tayo, mga monumento na meron tayo. Sa ating simbahan nga, sa ating pananampalataya, ultimo sa loob ng ating simbahan, may mga bagay-bagay tayong tinitignan. Ang krus ng ating Panginoon ay palatandaan ng kalupitan ng sangkatawan sa kanyang kapwa sa daigdig na ito. Ang kalupitan niya sa Panginoong nagliligtas. Ang karasang meron sa kasaysayan ng tao laban sa kanyang kapwa. Lalo na sa mga inosente, sa mga walang kalaban-laban. Para na rin sa mga nagpakabayani at nagpakatatag. Para sa mga paniniwalang alam nilang mabuti, tama at nararapat. Pero alam naman natin na ang mga sagisag na ito, mga simbolong ito, ay hindi lang tungkol sa masaklap na nakaraan. Kundi paalala rin sa atin, para lalo sa ating mga Kristiyano, na mga sagisag na ito ay paalala sa atin sa pagmamahal at dakilang pag-aalay ng buhay ng Panginoon para sa atin. So reflecting the gospel reading today, reminding us of all these things, let us not fail to see the goodness of these things, of these memorials, of these symbols, reminding us constantly to live our life totally dedicated to what God has purposely given to us, to be reminded of how much He does to save us, to lead us to our own good and truly to be saved from all the troubles, from all the death this world is imposing on us, is giving us. We pray indeed that we who live out the calling of Christ may 
dedicatedly, faithfully live out our calling to be holy, to be truly loving people of God. May God bless each and every one of us. Amen. Results then. Father of all, we thank your infinite goodness for having entrusted us from your creative hands to angels to light and guard, rule and guide us. As we glorify you today and honor your angels, we pray with sure hope as we say, Guard and protect us, Lord. Guard and protect us, Lord. Grant holy inspirations, your continued protection against spiritual and material dangers, and your great comfort to our Pope, our bishops and pastors, and all the lay leaders who assist in your church, we pray. God, and, and protect, protect us, us, Lord. Grant pardon and guide with your great mercy all evildoers who are often deaf to your word and who sin habitually without true knowledge, we pray. God, God and, protect and protect us, us Lord. Watch over those who write, produce, and distribute audiovisual and social media and all those who make use of them defend them from evil guide them in your truth inspire vocations for the apostolate of communications and be with them in their delicate mission we pray guard, guard and protect, protect us lord extend your fatherly protection over civil authorities working people and persons who suffer Defend them in battle. Be our protection against the malice and snares of the devil. We pray. Guard, Guard and protect, protect us, Lord. Subdue COVID-19, all dangers on land, sea, and air, and all spirits who roam through the world, seeking the ruin of our bodies and spirits. We pray. Guard and protect us, Lord. In silence, let us pray for our personal and community intentions. For these intentions, we pray. Guard and protect us, Lord. Lord of heaven and earth, we honor you today in St. Michael and with all our guardian angels. Through them, in the name of Jesus, hear our petitions and let your light be with us so that our lives may be a glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all, His holy Church. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create and blessed Timothy Jacardo, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise to the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the, in the name, name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with Jose, our Cardinal Archbishop, with all bishops and clergy. We lift up to you, O Father, the healing of all the sick members of our community, the Society of St. Paul in the Philippines and Macau. We also pray for the healing of Freddy Gamboa, Celi Bernabe, Rory Alinea Martin and Silvia Berenguer, Lu Peña Serrada Ang and Aimi Magpokro, Bubut Nugid, Kaiki Chit and Roby Kino Kalikdan and Elizabeth Sarino for the healing of Papa and Matet and Lincoln and Jonathan Hernandez, Tesla Badan, Charina Nidwasa, Charles and Rowena Eriga, Jess Figueroa, Jack Sales, Maximino De Sena, Reni Portillo and Perla Saldajeno and Esmelita Salcedo, Atina Marie Montes, 
MJ Mangawil, Michael Heneta, Ed Adonis, Spiritual Graces for Julio Carlos Rojas Lara, Baby Rojas, Dong and Joy Lara, and the continuing health and recovery of Audi Quintana, Reggie Reyes, Fatima Tolentino, Arlette Mendoza, Nancy T, Marie Flor Ebio, and Faustino Diaz. Remember your servants, Lloyd, especially the deceased members of the Pauline family, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Sister Grace and Chita, Sister Victoria, Sister Elishan and Sister Merle, and all the deceased members of the Oblates of the Holy Spirit Sisters, Anita Aban, Carmelita Galdones Guzman, Ricardo Guzman Sr., Anthony Uson, Manuel Recto, Jorge Landoy, Gloria Landoy, Rimos Landoy, Medina Tapang, Erlinda de la Peña, Pedro Magbanua, Elsie Mantaring, Elsie and Corazon, Marcelino and Hipolito Bejer, Francisco and Epifania Bejer, Marlon Bilardo, Roberto Bandola and Rodolfo Riamelio, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, protector of the Universal Church, with Peter, James, and John, and Andrew, and Paul, and all the Blessed Apostles, Blessed James Alberione, Blessed Timothy Giacardo, Blessed Elena Guerra, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, and Saint Pedro Calungsud, in all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. The rich suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. For those who cannot receive the Holy Communion, especially the sick and the OFWs, join us in praying the spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we who are fortified by the power of this sacrament may learn through the example of Blessed Timothy Jacardo to seek you always above all things and to bear in this world the likeness of the new man through Christ our Lord. Amen.
please be seated for some announcement. Sa November 2, sa buong buwan ng November, ay muli natin gugunitain ang ating mga yumao. Ang lahat ng ating misa sa November ay misa kumon para sa mga yumao. Pakilagay ang mga pangalan ng mga yumaong mahal sa buhay sa mga envelopes na may tatak ng misa kumon. Kalakipan ang inyong love offerings. Ibigay ang mga envelopes sa parish office. Pwede rin pong ihulog ang misa kumon envelopes sa offering box na may cross malapit sa altar. Tuloy-tuloy po ang pagpapagawa sa mga facilities ng simbahan. Pwede pong ipadala sa parish office ang inyong mga love offerings, pledges at donations sa ating Dambana Fund. Humingi na acknowledgement receipt o gamitin ang Metro Bank account or Lady of Soros Parish 2917-2918-22. Seven nine three. Ang ating pung regular Sunday confession schedule ay eight thirty a.m. to eleven a.m. four thirty p.m. to six thirty p.m. Para sa mga gusto ng magsakristan, dapat po ten years old pataas at nakapag first communion na. Kausapin si Father E. Mark Salamat o si Brother Nello. Pwede rin iwan ang pangalan at contact number sa parish office. Para sa mga gustong maging lectors at commentators, kailangan po ay 16 years old pataas at bihasa sa pagbabasa sa English o Pilipino. Pakibigay ang pangalan at contact number sa parish office. Para sa mga nagnanais maging ministers ng Holy Communion, makipagugnayan po sa parish office para sa mga requirements. Iwan po ang buong pangalan at contact number. Maraming salamat po. Please all stand. From the words of our founder, Blessed James Alberione, In our Zole, Blessed James Alberione found children with good qualities of mind and heart. Among them was the pious and intelligent Giuseppe Giacardo, he cultivated, cultivated his spiritual life, preparing him for the Pauline family. Also, as an added announcement, beginning tomorrow, we will have the Novena Masses in honor of, the, of Jesus' Divine Master. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And together with my brother priest, we'll give the blessing. And may Almighty God protect and bless you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace and love of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Thanks be to God. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows, F.B. Harrison, Pasay City. Mula sa mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka sa parokya, Mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, salamat po. God bless you, Mater de la Rosa de la Pieta.